What's up guys, as the iPhone 8 nears production, we may have our very first look at the design. So this is based off of some schematics that have leaked from a reputable source. I wanted to share that with you today among other iPhone 8 news and a lot of exciting feature leaks that have been confirmed by a very reputable news source. So let's get into all that today. And this is the representation we created of these leaked schematics. They were provided by Sonny Dixon, who actually accurately predicted several things in the past. He shared the iPhone Acorn OS uh, that ran on the first iPhone as well as a prototype case that Apple uses to hide prototype models before releasing. So this guy's shared quite some history of Apple with us. Now he's got his hands on the actual schematic or 3D model of the shell of the supposed iPhone 8. Now, it doesn't really match up to earlier rumors. That's one big red flag. I mean, it's made of aluminum and it's got a big circle in the back, possibly for a fingerprint sensor. As ugly as that would be, as annoying as it would be, Apple may have to move to this and we'll get to that in a second due to some Touch ID issues. So that may happen on the back. On the front, we still may have a full screen display, but this doesn't really tell much about that. He also says it may even have USB-C as that's not immediately clear from these models. It also does have a vertical camera on the rear. So this would basically be the iPhone 7 Plus camera just shifted vertically and it may have other uses for it like VR and AR. But just from this, there isn't really much we can tell other than these little design differences. So we went up and rendered this for your pleasure. It took about seven hours. So big shout out to the Bro King for doing this. Uh, it was not easy, you know, only to learn later that this could possibly be fake. It might not even be the real shell. So in a response on leaks basically said that there were a lot of similarities to the iPhone 7 shell. The cutout for the flash is still there in the aluminum. It looks just like a doctored version of the iPhone 7 shell. I mean, there would really be no reason for that flash to be there as it was relocated and a bunch of other points on the shell that are used to mount the logic board and the such are still there. I mean, we know that the new iPhone might get a stacked logic board and L-shaped battery, so that would considerably relocate things inside, yet this thing is still using the old shell. So there's a very big probability that it could be fake. And I myself hope it's fake because I want a glass back iPhone, glass front, fingerprint embedded in the display. So this would be a step down from that, from what I expected this thing to be. But just letting you guys know it may be fake, but it may also have some credibility towards it based on the guy who is telling us about it. And even earlier than those schematics, about a week ago, these leaked. So this shows another version of the iPhone 8, also with a vertical camera, also with a touch ID sensor on the rear but the display is a little bit different. It's not a full body display like previously rumored, although it is considerably bigger in uh, screen to size ratio than the iPhone 7 Plus right now. So it does look better, but it's not what I had imagined. If we've been suffering with the same design for three years, I expect Apple to go all out with the display, although it does look good. Still has a little bit of bezel on top, bottom, and on the sides, but it's just not cutting edge looking. And the interesting thing is the camera still sticks out of the iPhone. So it is raised, it's just shifted orientation wise, but it will stick out of the shell. Also, this thing is considerably taller than a standard iPhone 7. Usually the iPhone 8 rumors are saying it's gonna be the same size as an iPhone 7 about, but this one is considerably longer. So that means that the screen ratio may increase considerably. Also interesting thing to note is that this says it's gonna be 8.6 millimeters thick. That is approaching the iPhone 4 size at 9.3 millimeters. Now, I don't know why they'd be making it thicker, possibly to accommodate for a larger battery. Maybe that display just needs more room, but man, that is a chunky device compared to the current ones. And I saved the best for last. This is the latest leaks when it comes to the display and dimension size. So take a look at this beauty. If this was what it actually was, it would be stunning. It's a full face display that is curved around the edges and actually accommodates for an earpiece inside of that display. Due to it being an organic LED display, you can actually cut out shapes and shape the organic LEDs around it, unlike an LCD, which has to be square in most applications. So that is certainly beautiful. And the actual leak notes say that it accommodates for a camera underneath the display as well as all of these sensors. So those will be invisible. Now we didn't put an earpiece on our design, so ignore that. Uh, but there probably will be one in the final design. I'm just saying, this thing looks absolutely stunning. If that ends up looking like this, wow, Apple's got a winner on their hands. And some more not so great news. A Pacific Crest analyst is saying that the iPhone 8 may likely not come with Touch ID at all. That Apple is considering one of two options for the iPhone 8. You know, since they're having this bottleneck with Touch ID, they might not even get it in for the iPhone. They might have to do one of two things, you know, 
delay the release by another month. So he says they have about a month to decide if they can fix this and get it into the iPhone in time before production or to completely eliminate it and instead completely rely on 3D facial scanning and iris recognition. He says, although this technology is young, you know, it's still fairly reliable. In the dark, it works, but still the convenience factor of having to raise your phone to your face every single time to unlock it versus just putting the passcode in uh, with whatever passcode you have on display, it's pretty low. I would much, much rather have Touch ID where I could just touch it real quick without looking at it, without doing anything, and it's already open. You know, just in my opinion, I would much rather have Touch ID. So I hope this guy is wrong, but he's saying Apple will likely not have Touch ID whatsoever or delay the release of the iPhone to get that into the display. He doesn't even mention the third option, the other end analyst said that you could put it on the back of the phone. So, you know, that's what may happen with the Touch ID situation right now. From the news source that brought you these drawings leaked by a Foxconn employee that drew them after handling or seeing the prototype of the iPhone 8, they just released a new report on the iPhone 8 about some features it may have. It's the usual a flat display, 2.5D curved glass around the edges, organic LED display, glass design, you know, that stuff. But they also mentioned two that I haven't heard anywhere else, one being that the power button is going to be considerably longer, and this is uh, Vania Geskin's design that he actually recreated this and showed us what it would look like. It would have two points of contact in the button itself. So I don't know why that would be there, what it would help with, but the power button might be longer, maybe for a comfort thing. Also, what they're saying is that the camera will be embedded underneath the display. So I talked about this just a second ago, but nobody's really confirming it other than iDrop News, which is saying that it will most likely happen in the final version. So it's a patent that Apple was granted. They have this technology, but Apple usually doesn't put technology in their phones right away, even though they have the patents until years down the road. So I'm just saying I wouldn't really trust this completely, but it might have a longer power button and a front-facing camera that's embedded underneath the display. And Makatakara did also just release a new report on the iPhone 8. They've correctly predicted many features in the past, so I do trust them. And they're saying a couple new things I haven't heard anywhere else. Well, the vertical cameras they are confirming will be happening for a VR headset that will be coming with the iPhone 8 as a separate accessory possibly. And the finish on the outside, aside from the glass, will be made of stainless steel. In particular, the one on the Apple Watch. So it'll be a very similar finish, but an improved version. In what way? They didn't say, probably for scratches, but I think it would look nice, very similar to the iPhone 4 and 4S style, although those aren't as polished. I'd say, you know, it does look all right. I mean, look at this thing though, after years and years of abuse, the iPod Touch completely scratched. And when this thing came out, it was a mirror sheen. So I hope Apple doesn't go this way, but has a more durable version. And in the very same report, Makatakar is claiming that the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus, which will be shipping alongside the iPhone edition, the budget end models, will actually be thicker or slightly thicker than the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So they're saying they don't know why, but it would be likely it wouldn't fit the same accessories and cases as the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So I think it's a very smart move on Apple's end. For one, they could stick a thicker battery in the same design, but two, they could also sell you new accessories, make a bunch of money selling you cases and new products that suddenly don't fit because of a couple small changes on the design. Design. But overall, they're saying the design will stay the same. It'll look very similar to the 7 and 7 Plus. And Bloomberg just dropped a massive report on the iPhone edition. What they're saying will happen later this year. And I was very excited to hear it because they're usually right with these things in the past. So what they're saying is that the iPhone 8 coming later this year will indeed have a massive display that will cover most of the front of the phone. It will be organic LED and it will be 2.5D glass. So a very gentle runoff, but a flat display on the very front. So that's good news for anyone thought Apple was gonna go in Samsung's direction and have a dual curved edge display, which was previously rumored, but now this is happening instead. Also, they're saying that they are trying very hard to embed the fingerprint touch ID in the display and they would rather do that than anything else. So they are trying to fix that. But again, the technical issues are a big problem. That's the number one thing holding up the production of the iPhone 8 right now. They're also saying it will have a stainless steel design, so matching the earlier report, and that it would have vertical cameras. So that seems to be the consensus here. The iPhone edition, iPhone 8, may have vertical cameras after all, as so many analysts are confirming it. Also, they were testing several versions, one with a very, very curved edge uh, that matched the iPhone 2G or the original iPhone, but instead they decided that was too much and they'll be shipping a, a less dramatically curved version for consumers. Now, earlier there were rumors from Akatakara that the iPhone edition or the 7s and 7s plus would not be shipping with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter in the box 
Now a new report from Barclays is saying that's wrong and it will be shipping at least until 2018. After then, Apple may drop it, but Apple still wants to help you get along with the conversion from analog to Bluetooth with this adapter coming in all iPhone boxes later this year. And Apple is already reportedly moving past organic LED displays as they're working on micro LED displays for the Apple Watch 3. Beginning production later this month and supposed to be shipping alongside the iPhone 8 later this year. So micro LED has several benefits to OLED being thinner, possibly in some applications, more efficient and longer lasting as the structure is different. So in almost every single way, it is better than organic LED, but making it is a giant pain as the term micro LED. These things are very, very tiny LEDs stacked in a completely different way than traditional. So it's going to take some time to implement it. But this is supposedly the first step before it goes to iPhones, just like organic LED is in the Apple Watch right Right now, it's going to make its way to the Apple Watch 3 and eventually future iPhones after that, as in the past it was rumored Apple is definitely going to micro LED after organic LED. And lastly, I just wanted to mention something interesting. Your next iPhone may be made out of completely recycled materials. Not this one, but the one after the 2017 iPhone, as Apple is actually committed today to building all of their products out of completely recycled metals, such as tin, uh, tungsten, aluminum, among other things. So they said themselves they don't know fully how they're going to do it, but they are committed to doing it. Now, that doesn't mean a worse quality iPhone. It just means a more environmentally sustainable one where you don't have to mine the metals out of the earth. But anyways, guys, that is the latest on the iPhone 8 right now on the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed our updated concept. If you want to follow us on the latest updates on those, follow us on the Instagram down below in the description and stay tuned for more iPhone rumors as uh, they do come out. There's going to be a lot more coming as we're nearing the release date coming later in September this year. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.